Defenses are the plans you undertake to make against the truth. Their aim is to select what you approve and disregard what you consider incompatible with your beliefs of your reality. Yet what remains is meaningless indeed. For it is your reality that is the threat which your defenses would attack, obscure, and take apart, and crucify. What could you not accept if you but knew that everything that happens, all events, past, present, and to come, are gently planned by one whose only purpose is your good? Perhaps you have misunderstood his plan, for he would never offer pain to you. But your defenses did not let you see his loving blessing shine in every step you ever took. While you made plans for death, he led you gently to eternal life. Your present trust in him is the defense that promises a future undisturbed, without a trace of sorrow, and with joy that constantly increases, as this life becomes a holy instant, set in time, but heeding only immortality. Let no defenses but your present trust direct the future, and this life becomes a meaningful encounter with the truth that only your defenses could conceal. Without defenses, you become a light which heaven gratefully acknowledges to be its own. And it will lead you on in ways appointed for your happiness according to the ancient plan, begun when time was born. Your followers will join their light with yours, and it will be increased until the world is lighted up with joy. And gladly will our brothers lay aside their cumbersome defenses, which availed them nothing and could only terrify. We will anticipate that time today with present confidence, for this is part of what was planned for us. We will be sure that everything we need is given us for our accomplishment of this today. We make, we make no plans for how it will be done, but realize that our defenselessness is all that is required for the truth to dawn upon our minds with certainty. For 15 minutes twice today, we rest from senseless planning and from every thought that blocks the truth from entering our minds. Today, we will receive instead of plan, that we may give instead of organize. And we are given truly as we say, if I defend myself, I am attacked. But in defenselessness, I will be strong, and I will learn what my defenses hide. Nothing but that. If there are plans to make, you will be told of them. They may not be the plans you thought were needed, nor indeed the answers to the problems which you thought confronted you. But they are answers to another kind of question, which remains unanswered, yet in need of answering, until the answer comes to you at last. All your defenses have been aimed at not receiving what you will receive today. And in the light and joy of simple trust, you will but wonder why you ever thought that you must be defended from release. Heaven asks nothing. It is hell that makes extravagant demands for sacrifice. You give up nothing in these times today when, undefended, you present yourself to your Creator as you really are. He has remembered you. Today we will remember Him. For this is Easter time in your salvation. And you rise again from what was seeming death and hopelessness. Now is the light of hope reborn in you, for now you come without defense, to learn the part for you within the plan of God.
What little plans or magical beliefs can still have value when you have received your function from the voice for God himself? Try not to shape this day as you believe would benefit you most. For you cannot conceive of all the happiness that comes to you without your planning. Learn today. And all the world will take this giant stride and celebrate your Easter time with you. Throughout the day, as foolish little things appear to raise defensiveness in you and tempt you to engage in weaving plans, remind yourself this is a special day for learning and acknowledge it with this. This is my Easter time and I would keep it holy. I will not defend myself because the Son of God needs no defense against the truth of his reality. That's lesson 135. If I defend myself, I am attacked. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresason.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.